I'm Donald Leggett, and welcome to the latest London Southeast CEO interview. I'm joined today by Vincent Mascolo, CEO of Iron Ridge Resources, the Africa focused lithium and gold exploration company. Iron Ridge is AIM listed and has a lithium pegmatite discovery in Ghana, a gold portfolio in Cote d'Ivoire, and a potential gold discovery in Chad. Iron Ridge have just updated the market on drilling activities in Ghana. Welcome, Vincent. Thanks very much indeed for joining us today from Australia. Thank you very much for having me back, Donald. Much appreciated. We last spoke a couple of years ago, and I understand you've, you've, you've been doing a lot of exploration in the interim, shall we say. We, we certainly have. I think when we were speaking a few years ago, we were a lithium company. Um, and mercifully, today, we're still a lithium company, as the, as the market would have it. Last year, we were a gold company. Today we're a lithium company, so the, the hedging our bets across multiple commodities of multiple jurisdictions is working very well. That sounds very wise to me. Uh, today we're talking about your flagship Avoya lithium project, Vincent. So what's, what's the headline news from there? Look, the headline news there is in the last 12 months we have delivered a maiden mineral resource estimate of around 14 and a half million tonnes at about 1.3% lithium oxide. And more recently, we delivered a very robust scoping study, uh, which has delivered phenomenal results. Um, we can dwell on the numbers. It's the business case model is for a 2 million tonne per annum run of mine operation with an eight year mine life producing in the order of around just shy of 300,000 tonnes per annum of spodumene 6% concentrate. Uh, it's got a, a magnificent payback period of less than one year from commencement of mining. Um, and the numbers are robust, but look, I'm not gonna dwell too much on the numbers because it stands to reason, given the fundamentals of the project, that the numbers were always going to look very good. And the fundamentals are, we are, uh, the project is outcropping, the metallurgy is exceptional, the geology is phenomenal. Uh, we are within one kilometre of the National Highway, and that's, that's only 110 kilometres from the deep sea port of Takarati, which has more than ample capacity to, uh, for this operation. Um, all this implies that, you know, we are going to be in the first cost quartile. So um, I guess if you want to see some numbers, uh, we've got a post-tax MPV of... Uh, of just under 350 million US. Um, we that's have a, that's annually? Sorry? That's annually, Vincent? That is that is a project, project MPV. Um, annually, uh, we are talking in the order of an EBITDA in, in excess of around 100 million US dollars per annum. Um, and a gross revenue potential in excess, life of mine, in excess of 1.5 billion. That's terrific news, uh, Vincent. I didn't know anything about this. You must be very excited. Look, we are very excited um, and uh, we just can't wait to sink our teeth into the next stages. And to be honest, we think we're perfectly poised to service uh, the European and uh, US markets that uh, we believe the downstreamers have a gap in their narrative um, to meet their, their aggressive timelines. Whereas our project is very simple, it's very doable, um, and can be put into production relatively quickly by peer comparison. You previously described Ghana as the new lithium frontier. Do these recent drilling results support that? Look, I, uh, I think we're in a new frontier in lithium before this, this, this most recent drilling campaign. We are the first uh, lithium pegmatite discovery in Ghana. Ghana is definitely not a new frontier for mining. They're heavily geared towards gold, but uh, the fact that we are a new commodity, uh, we, are, we are, are being endorsed at the highest levels of government in Ghana to get this project off the ground as quickly as possible. They are keen to see a new uh, mining um, project off the ground, a new commodity um, to, shall we say, invigorate their, their current resource, their mineral resource sector. Okay, so let, let's drill down. What are the next steps to increase the mineral resource estimate to commercialise the project and to potentially develop a lithium mine? Okay, well, that's what we're doing now. We have currently an eight year mine life uh, forecasted. We'd like to see that to plus 10 years. And that's what this drilling campaign is all about. Um, and we hope that, uh, well, it looks like we're, we're, we're seeing visible spodumene, I think in 95% of the holes we've just drilled. 
that's subject to testing, but the geologists know what they're looking at now. Um, so that's what this drilling campaign is, is designed for, is to expand that resource, expand that mine life, add, add, add uh, more commercial economics to the project. Is this one of the but best? Is this, would this be one of the best projects you've ever seen, uh, Vincent? It is one. Yeah, absolutely. It is a. It is an absolute industry standout. Uh, um, it does. It's not the biggest project, but it has some of the best metallurgy grade and proximity to infrastructures almost second to none. So as long as you're in the first cost quartiles, um, you always know you're going to have a generational project, and that's a key key takeaway for. You for, for uh, Iron Ridge, uh, Awoya and Ghana. Fantastic. Thank you very much for sharing that. Uh, what does current funding look like, Vincent? Current funding's OK. We just raised £3.6 million uh, pounds through the conversion of warrants from existing shareholders uh, in a capital raise we did last year, what we call the, ca the COVID capital raise. So uh, we've got some uh, very excited um, uh, shareholders in um, and this money will, will deliver or should be sufficient for the next round of deliverables across Ghana, Cote d'Ivoire and Chad. Okay. I see you've recently bought a 10-year package next to Awoya. Are the two yeah. connected geologically? Is it prospective? And is that why you're securing a larger footprint? Yeah, absolutely. Look, we had that project under joint venture uh, with our, our joint venture partners, Joy Transporters. And uh, we, we had uh, negotiated quite a while some terms to uh, accelerate to 100%. That makes it more attractive for us. And yes, it is part of the same geological structures as what we have at Awoya. So definitely a fundamental uh, resource tonnage value add to be had there as well. Okay, a more broad question. Is Ghana an easy country to do business in as a miner? I mean, I've, I've actually filmed at Ashanti up country and been through Accra. I thought Ghana was a terrific place and the people were fantastic. Uh, what's your impressions? Yeah, look, we don't have any problems in Ghana. We like Ghana. It's a great jurisdiction. They have a 100-year mining history. Um, it does mean that they actually know what they're talking about. So you have to have your wits about you. Um, but, yes, they, they get the mining industry. They've had it for 100 years. So um, it, you don't have to there's – no, there's no learnings to be had or to be given. Um, it's, they know what they're doing. So yeah, it's, it makes it a lot, a lot easier. That's very interesting. Uh, let's touch on Cote d'Ivoire briefly and the Zerano Gold Project. What's the yeah. latest on drilling at Zerano? Right, we're in the final stages. I think we've completed all the RC drilling and we're in the final stages of our diamond drilling, uh, which will go towards an MRE. I won't put a timeline on that because there's just too many moving parts and it only takes one part to fall and you'll end up with a delay. But Zaranu is shaping up very nicely. We have an early ounces strategy. So in the top sort of uh, zero to 90 metres is what we call the weathered zone. It's basically a free dig. Go and dig up your back garden and run it through the mill in a gravity separation. So that's the early ounces strategy, which we are uh, feeling more and more comfortable will underpin the value of the, pro underpin the future and value of the project. Um, should definitely be underpinning the value of the company, but um, at the moment we're only valued at less than what the lithium project is worth. Uh, Vincent, keep doing these interviews and all will, all will happen, all will be good. <laughs> <laughs> my, my final question to you, what are the other parts of the portfolio which are keeping you, keeping you busy at the moment? Not keeping look, you up at night, but just keeping you busy. Keeping me busy and keeping me up at night. In Chad, look, we've reinvigorate, we've reinvigorated our activities into Chad after a bit of a standstill. Uh, while we were focusing on Zaranu. So we've got Zaranu taking care of itself in Cote d'Ivoire and now we've got the teams mobilised in Chad. I think the drill rig is en route. So uh, depending on border crossings to get that drill rig in, hopefully we'll be drilling sooner rather than later. So we're operating in all three, three jurisdictions concurrently with three, um, uh, three officers and three teams. So what would your investment summary be? If you had to, to, you know, to sum up uh, Iron Ridge and why investors should actually invest in you, what would you say to them? Well, I think the resurgence, uh, I think, as I said earlier, last year we were a gold company. Today we are a lithium company. We're not getting any value for the gold. And in fact, I believe we're significantly undervalued just on the lithium project itself, which has huge growth potential. Uh, the resurgence in the lithium space has just been phenomenal in the last three months. 
Um, so you're going to see a trans. You're going to see what two great commodities to be in you, um, Donald. Um, lithium now with the, the, the resurgence through EVs and stored energy, and uh, gold, which will be formidable um, uh, during economic uncertainty. Um, hugely undervalued at these levels, and definitely we feel neglected that uh, we're not getting any value for our gold assets at this time. Vincent, thank you so much indeed for speaking to us from Australia today. Uh, that was Vincent Mascolo, CEO of Iron Ridge Resources, ticker IRR. That was fascinating. Thank you. You can find out more about us on our Twitter feed, at London Southeast. You can sub subscribe to us on YouTube and see more interviews like this one. Uh, and finally, please do stay safe.